Be single-minded and defend the truth. Never lose confidence for I am with you. And I'm reading from To Life in God, June 5th, 1992. I opened in random and that I've opened also by random. The Holy Bible tells us basically the same things. And wherever you, ha you have my child or little one, you have to put your name in there. Little one, single-minded, Defend the truth to death, continue to give yourself to me, your God, and consecrate all your days and nights to prayer, sacrifice, penance, offer me your will, and the enemy will have no chance to approach you. The sound teachings you have learned from me, and do not keep the sound teachings you have learned from me, do not worry when your accusers culminate you. I call to unity from my cross, so never lose confidence, for it is I, the resurrected one who calls everyone. It is not you, it is I, the Christ and your Redeemer, who calls his scattered sheep. My child, be gentle and patient with the accusers, for they know not what they are doing. By loving them as I love you, my child, and by giving yourself up to, as a sacrifice, you will be pleasing to me. Through your sacrifice, I will have made my house restored and many souls brought back to me. You who are less than the least of all my children, have been entrusted with my cross of unity. By my cross of unity, my unity is heavy, but you are not. You are to bear it with love and patience. Be my echo and proclaim to everyone the infinite riches of my sacred heart. You are to proclaim the unity that will only be built on love and humility. Remain loyal to me, your Lord, and remember that my Father created you precisely for this purpose, to give glory to us, the Holy Trinity. So stand your ground and do not sway with the tempests. I am beside you. Do not be afraid. The truth will speak up. Yes, my loyal helper, you will receive from my spirit all that I have to say. My words, my child, will be like a lamp shining on the sacred lampstand. They shall be like a sword in your mouth. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. I shall open your mouth to speak without fear. Take courage, my child. I myself am taking up your cause. Listen, today your accusers are covered with confusion, but you will escape their sword. This is your refuge. Jesus was showing his flaming heart like a golden flame. This is your refuge. See, this is where you are. I am your strength and your stronghold. Although the scourge falls on your back incessantly, do not lose heart. Remember how I voluntarily gave my back for your salvation without complaint. It is you, my priest, that the world will reject because you are attesting the truthfulness I have given you. You do not speak as for yourself. No, the written words are my own and your Abba's. I live in you and you in me. You are my temple and I live in you. And now that I have clothed you, I shall remind you once more, no servant is greater than his master. If the world has not known me, who am master and God, and my own people did not accept me, although I came in my domain. Would the world today recognize and accept anyone sent by me? Never. I have said these things to you, my child, to remind you that if the world persecuted me, they will persecute you, persecute you too. If they wounded me, they will wound you too. If they jeered and mocked their king, they will mock and jeer all his household too. And if they crucified me, their God, they will drag you too to Calvary and have you crucified. We're talking metaphorically here, of course. My child, your race is not finished. Offer me your life like a good soldier, since I have enlisted you in this holy battle to fight against error and to be a threat to Satan and all his empire. Do not be afraid of the sufferings that are coming to you. Be brave under trials. Be patient like I am patient. Today, Satan is deceiving many of you. The man of deception is among you spreading his errors in an ignorant and somnolent, somnolent lot because they preferred their own pleasure to me, their God. Some keep up the outward appearance of religion, 
but I rejected the inner power of it, my Holy Spirit. So then anybody who is my servant and comes from my household is certain to be attacked, but my loyal helper, soon I will bring you safely home in my heavenly kingdom. Pray and sacrifice, pray and sacrifice, look at your wretchedness now and then, that you may not fall into temptation. Never feel satisfied with yourself. Look at your misery so that it keeps you alert and awake. Despise yourself and humble yourself so that I may lift you up always to me and perfect you. Satan is powerful yet not for long. Help my child, praise me and glorify me. It is I, Christ speaking in you. In you. And I opened by random and it fell to uh, the song of Sirach chapter 27. Many have sinned to make a profit, and he who seeks riches will turn away his eyes. As a stake will be driven tightly between fitted stones, so sin will be wedged between selling and buying. If a man does not hold steadfastly to the fear of the Lord, his house will be soon overturned. When a sieve is shaken, the refuse remains, so a man's filth remains in the way he reasons. As a furnace tests, as a furnace tests a potter's vessels, so the test of man is in the way he reasons. As fruit reveals how a tree is cultivated, so a man's reasoning process reveals his heart. Do not praise a man before he reveals the way he reasons, for this is the way a man is tested. If you pursue righteousness, you will attain it and put it on like a glorious robe. As birds flock to their own kind, so also truth will return to those who practice it. As a lion lies in wait for his prey, so sin lies in wait for those who do wrong. Speaking wisely, the talk of a godly man is always wise, but a fool changes like the moon. Among senseless men, limit your time. Instead, spend it with men of understanding. The talk of fools is offensive, and they laugh at the lewdness of sin. Speech filled with swearing will make one's hair stand on end, and quarreling will make one stop his ears. The quarreling of the arrogant leads to bloodshed, and their abusive language is, heard on, is hard on the ears. He who reveals secrets destroys his credibility, and he will not find a friend for life. Love your friends and be trustworthy with them. But if you reveal his secrets, do not pursue him closely. For as surely as a man has destroyed his enemy, so you have destroyed the friendship of your neighbor. As you might release a bird from your hand, so you have let your neighbor go. And you will not catch him, and do not pursue him, for he has withdrawn away. He has escaped like a deer from a snare. Consequences of sin. He who throws a stone into the air throws it on his head, and a treacherous blow will dis distribute wounds. He who digs a pit will fall into it, and he who sets a snare will ca be caught in it. He who does evil things will have it roll back on him, and he will not know what hit him. Mockery and abuse come back on an arrogant man, and vengeance lies away for him like a lion. Those who rejoice the fall of the godly will be caught in a trap, and pain will consume them before their death. Anger and wrath, these are also abominations, and a sinful man shall possess both. And then I opened up to Luke 6, 31. No, Luke 6, 20, sorry the beatitudes and the woes. Then he lifted up his eyes towards his disciples and said, Blessed are you poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who hunger now, for you shall be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you shall laugh. Blessed are you when men hate you and when they exclude you and revile you and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy, for indeed your reward is great in heaven. For in like manner their fathers did so to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. A rich here means those people that are materialistic and have money as their god, let's put it that way. Woe to you who are full, for you shall hunger. Woe to you who laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. Woe to you when all men speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. Uh, so, uh, I hope that uh, gives us a lot of food for our soul and our hearts and our spirit. 
And let's remember that God is always alive and his angels are always around us, angels and saints protecting us. God bless you all. Make living saints of you. Thank you. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.